how to add a formula based custom price for products in Shopify. So if you're someone who wants to price your products based on size and quantity, this is the perfect video for you. Many times we sell products that are priced based on area, uh, like photo frames, mattresses or carpets. Uh, and sometimes you might want to reduce the price when the area exceeds a certain amount. For instance, if a product is $10 per square feet and a customer orders a large area, you might not charge the full $10 per square feet for the entire order. Instead, you might charge a reduced rate, perhaps uh, 7 to 8 per square feet. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to handle this and implement custom pricing for your product. Let's first look at the product and see how it works. <clears throat> so this is the frame and this is a custom frame formula. So if a customer wants a 10 inch by 10 inch frame, they just have to type 10 and 10 and the price will automatically change. You can see over here. This is not the price you will obviously charge, but it's just a demonstration. And suppose uh, if a customer orders a large amount, for example, uh, 30 inches into 30 inches. So the price won't be $10 uh, per square feet. Uh, instead, it will be a little bit lesser, as you can see uh, over here, maybe six or seven. And at the same time, if you type a lower number, you can see it's uh, $10 per square feet. So it's 250 per square feet and it changes the price uh, in real time. Now I'll show you how to set this up. First, install the Live Product Options app from the Shopify App Store. The link is in the description. Uh, let's head to Shopify Admin Panel, go to Apps and the App. Once uh, you once you have completed the onboarding process, you will land on the home page. I have already adjusted the settings, but if you are new, click on New Product Option to start. But for now, I'm going to show you the settings. <clears throat> in the product targeting, you have two choices, single product and multiple products. As the name suggests, if you want to add this uh, for a single product, click on single product. And if you want to add uh, for more than one products, click on multiple products. Now scroll down to product options and click on add product options and you will see uh, there are many types, for example, text, uh, multi-line, image switches, button switches, mm, date picker, upload options. So, it's, so there are a lot of uh, types. For this specific uh, option, we are going to click on dimensions. You can change the label and the name. You can see the label over here. I have typed that frame area. So if I just change it, it will automatically appear over here. And you can also type the label for this. For example, if I want to type W for width and H for height, you can see the label over here changes, but I don't want the labels, so I'll just cancel it out. You can also add the add-ons on Y and uh, X axis. For example, if you want to add over here, just go to add-ons and change it. I'll show you real time for inches. I have typed IN. So you can see it automatically changes. Uh, the initial value set to five, uh, five inches for each. And the initial value will be uh, there for the customers. And this is a rounding. And the main setting lies in the advanced settings. So let's see. So this is the info uh, button. Yeah, info text so the i icon will appear if you type the info if you don't want the info just don't do anything and the info button will automatically disappear and this help is the text below the widget so it doesn't look very good but you have to uh, type in a good way this is a very bad way to re represent uh, and the minimum value i have set is two uh, for x and y uh, 2 for Y and 30 is the max for both. So if I type 1, the message will appear. So it says must be at least 2 inches. Now uh, this is the validation message. You can also edit them. Uh, validation message for both minimum and max, uh, maximum. 
so if i exceed this 32 it will show must be at most 30 inches so i can't uh, increase more than 30 okay and here are more some advanced settings this is the text template so this is the exact text template one represents the x-axis and 30 represents the y-axis and this is the area of both so phi into phi is equal to 25 so in the area calculation it's already given x into y but if you want to change for example x plus y you can do exactly here and this text uh, template says the value of x into value of y is equal to uh, area so this is my text uh, template so for example if i have uh, x plus y this value will be x phi plus phi is equal to 10 and the price will be 10 over here so this is uh, the exact calculation the area calculation and this is the formula over here so this is the exact formula uh, that is over here so it's a little bit uh, it's a, a whole formula is from javascript is it's very easy to uh, implement if you are not into tech by any chance uh, you can go to price list and create your own price, lit, uh, price list. I'll show you how you can do this. I'll just save uh, the settings and in the home page go to assets and then list and then new list and add value uh, not value you can actually you have to uh, choose the values field so I'll select the price list dimensions as I'm using the dimensions over here so you can create a new one for you uh, for example, let's add 10, 20, 30, and 40 for X range and exactly same for Y. Okay. Okay, so if the customer uh, if the customer types uh, 10 and 10, we can show the value as 100. If the customer types uh, 10 on the Y and 20 on the X, the value will be uh, 200. So you can exactly customize uh, this exact list according to your uh, price chart. So I won't save this one. I'll go and show you this. So this is how if you don't know the JavaScript uh, by any chance, you can just use the formula uh, list. So this is it after you have done all the settings. Okay, I need to show you this uh, section as well. So if you don't want to show uh, the price or the areas uh, over here, you can just deselect these. So this is to show price. So you can see now you, you can only see the price over here, the price. But if you want to show the text template, just click on this and it, will and it will show the text template as well. So this is all on you if you want to add the text template or the price. This is a good to have but if you don't want you can just keep it blank. And again if you don't uh, know JavaScript you can just use this price list and create a new one for you. So this is it. You just save and enable the settings over here enable and save so the pricing formula is now set up i have used live product options app so check out uh, the live product options on shopify app store link is in the description it offers real-time custom product previews for your online store uh, for your shopify store super easy to install and great for personalized items it's a game changer for any e-com site if you have any questions let me know in the comments and see you in the next video thank you